All right, we're going to paint and turn what you just saw into these guys, right? Look at that. I mean, that Danish oil effect, I, I really love it. And the paint job, um, I really love the way that turned out. So yeah, you're going to be able to see that. We're going to jump into it. We're going to paint. And uh, at the beginning of the paint video, you're going to see that I don't know what kind of painting this. This is in the future. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a goofball. All right. <laughs> painting time. Painting time. Everybody ready for painting time. This is where all the real OGs come to hang out, right? For those of you unfamiliar, my painting videos are much more unfettered, uncontrolled, unplanned. I'm not thinking about what all was going to be said on the, like in the carbon. I'm like, oh, I'm going to tell them about this cut and about this cut and about this cut. I'm not planning anything out in a painting video. Okay. So these carvings, don't they look fantastic? You want to know why they look fantastic and buttery smooth? This is why. People keep asking, what do you mean you, you wash your carving? I mean, I take it out of the sink. And I soak it in water. And I rub down the whole thing. I'm getting it wet. And this water on these little carvings like this, right, will expand. And you know that superfluous knife cut we had? It disappears when we do this. The water expands into the wood. Or the wood expands. And uh, when it does, it seals up any of those little cuts that we got that we didn't like. And the carving can look a lot better, especially for a newer carver with newer carvings. And some of these people, when they post photos of pictures, you know, of their carvings on Instagram or Facebook, and you look at them and you're like, man, why does that wood look so buttery and smooth? Look at these now. That's why. <laughs> because they're wet. And it makes the carvings look better. It really does. But if you're wondering, like, what do I do to treat the carvings before I paint? That, I water them down. So yeah, now they look, I mean, they look absolutely stunning, don't they? Look at how smooth they are. You can't even tell which one of these was the one we just carved <laughs> because you can't see that. But I'll tell you what you can tell. See this little section right here? It looks a little bit rougher. That's because a little bit of section of wood that this guy saw mark on it that I didn't take care of. Just a little section right there. So yeah taking care of that right now that way it doesn't affect us or the look of our carving man i really think these things turned out so fantastic i almost want to just finish one and just boil linseed oil to see how it would look i think it would look beautiful but uh i definitely want to do one with the danish oil and I'm not going to show you guys the Danish oil in this video because you guys have seen the Danish oil a dozen times. There's a video too just on finishing things with Danish oil. So if you want to see that, check out the video. So we're just going to paint, uh, I think, this lady here. And what we're going to use is we're going to use blue cotton for her dress. We're going to use some uh, succulent color, I believe, for the highlight. Or we're going to do yellow. I'm not sure. I think we're going to do succulent, that line right there and it could be succulent or sunny yellow one of the two for the face we're going to use a bit of warm beige do we want do we want to dry brush this coat deeper let's do that let's do, go, do a little bit fancy huh you want to go a little fancy with me let's see here what's a darker blue do we have well, i do like that Navy blue marine. That's a good color. I got a good bit of it left. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, oh, you know what we're doing? We're blending. We are totally blending. That's what we're doing. We're blending. Yeah, anyway, sorry. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna blend a little bit. I'm using way too much paint in there, and that's okay. Let's see what paintbrush I wanna start with. Let's start with this cheap terrible acrylic paintbrush from Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> None of my paintbrushes are expensive. All of them are the cheap stuff from Hobby Lobby. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to make the bottom of this dress a darker blue and we're going to blend to a light blue up to the top. So this whole bottom section is going to be dark blue. And I am just going to 
water the crap out of it. We'll get a little blending action going on. Show them a fancier dress. And that gets you guys a little bit more blending action going on in these painting videos that folks who want to see it can see it. That's as high up as we're going with the dark blue. Okay? And that middle band there will get painted with either the green or the yellow. And now we're just watering, 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 and blending that blue up. You follow? Just bringing it up. I should have done that in the hands, but blending is a mess. It's always a mess. It's hard to not make it a mess. But this is going to add texture to the carving that wasn't there. Okay, now this light blue is going to be the rest of this carving. It's so wet that it's just running everywhere. <clears throat> People don't understand why I tell them too, like painting's a mess. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a mess, but. You see me paint, you go, oh, wow, Johnny, that's uh, that's 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 really a mess, man. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. I make a mess. I make quite a mess. So to go over something real quick with you, um, if you haven't noticed or if you hadn't heard yet, I'm going to be doing the uh, the International Association of Wood Carvers here real soon. It's going to be this Saturday, November second, and. Uh, during that meeting, people will be able to ask questions live from me if you'd like to. If you come over there, I would really appreciate it. If you haven't joined one yet, Blake Lunsford on uh, Instagram or Facebook. We'll be posting links to it. So will the International Association of Woodcarvers account on Instagram and Facebook. Please go there. Get the link. Come support me. I would really appreciate it. I am a bit nervous going into it because I don't know what all to expect. All the carvers that go on there are so much better than I am, right? I'm still very new. I am not an expert. I am still a very, very new carver. And uh, comparatively, they are far better. I think that I have a knack for teaching and I have a knack for video editing, which is why I'm going on there to talk about YouTube videos and things like that. But so many other folks, so much better. And it's daunting at the very least to, to get on there and talk to them. I do a little bit of hero worship too when it comes to things, right? I read about people and stuff like that. And uh, I know Blake Lunsford because he's a CCA guy, right? Just like when I went to did that class with Wayne Larimore. I tell you right now, that was something else. Sitting beside Wayne Larimore while he carved on my piece, that was absolutely mind boggling. He was walking across the room and I was giggling like a schoolboy, like I'm in the same room with Wayne Larimore, <laughs> like a big goofball. God help me. So yeah, I'm going to do this call and I'm going to be talking while I do it to uh, Blake Lunsford, right? And he's a down to earth guy. He's a really neat guy. I've seen him on things, you know, like it's obvious that I'm not going to have an issue. Of course not, right? Doesn't mean I'm not going to be nervous at the very thought of it. <laughs> uh, I need to figure out a better solution for that camera. I keep hitting it with my hat. Okay. So now we're going to start Blending this. I went ahead and did the bottom color darker again. And we're just watering it down. Blending it up. And I'm going to use that blue from there. And we're going to blend it down. Yeah. I like so. I'm going to do this again. And I'm making a mess. This is how my carvings go. I make a mess. That darker blue in there again. Really go hard on that bottom line. And then paint it up. 
Bring it up. I'm just going way too much. I say I don't want to blend that more. I want to have that darker higher. I want that transition to be higher. There are better painters than I am, too. I'm terrible. I'm being quick on this. I could be a lot more careful. But I am often not. You're wondering, like, I wonder how Johnny does it. This is exactly how I do it, whether it's on video or not. Now, when I do something bigger like that Santa, I'm going to be a whole lot more careful on him than I am, like, on this. Because this is all going to be one color. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have so many facets of different colors. That's going to need to be much different with painting. I'm going to need to be much more careful. Much more careful. But you can see that what we got going on, right? We got that darker blue at the base. And now that we got this a bit better at the top, right? We're going to blow dry this for a moment. So one second while I dry this up. Okay, and we're back. So I've got that dry to the touch now. But that dark on the bottom, I'm not doing very good at blending it. When it comes to blending, like I am doing it the way I think it should be done. I don't have any training in this. This is all just like trial and error kind of thing, you know? So now that it's dry, I'm going to try this better now, I think. So I'm really drawing in that bottom section. And now we're just going to try to pull that up. A little bit and a little bit more. More water and just keep doing that around like so to add some depth to her coloring, right? And that's, that's pretty neat. But you know what else? Let's do that a bit here. Let's do this. Let's put a little bit of dark coloring up underneath this section here. Her hat. Okay. Then we're going to put a little bit on the paintbrush, wipe a little bit off, get a little bit of water in there into that corner there. Ooh, that was way too much. Way too much. Wipe that in. Yeah, that's better. Appropriate. Yeah, I'm starting to like that a bit better. A little darker blue, just slightly darker. That is slightly darker. Let's get a shot. Now, like I said, this is this is where that unplanned thing comes in because this is completely unplanned. Is that even darker? I mean, the bottles look darker, but shoot, that looks like the same color, doesn't it? Tell you what we can do. We can make that a little bit darker with a little bit darker paint. And we'll actually mix it in. Not quite darker. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot to talk there for a second. I'm just, uh, I'm playing around right now. I'm experimenting in ways I haven't before with this coloring. I'm trying something I saw Sarah Bearclaw do with a darker color of red on a Santa in a video. And I haven't got a chance to play around with that idea yet where she used a darker color to like put some highlights in. And so I'm just kind of playing around right now to see what I think and what I like. Just experimenting, right? And, uh, yeah. I'm thinking I like the way that she's turning out. But painting isn't like an exact science for me. It's something I'm still experimenting with and learning. But I do like the way that she's turning out. I definitely do. I want to do a bit more on that hat there. Let's turn it upside down so that anything leaks down the other direction, doesn't get in the section I've got finished. There we go. Yeah, these uh, painting videos always get far less views than the videos I do on and carving and I know that's true it always is all right let's pause it for a second for uh trying yeah but uh <clears throat> you guys that are watching painting videos you're the ones that are really into this stuff with me but this is all dry now completely the touch so I'm gonna start doing the hands and the face there some warm beige but it makes it a bit easier on myself I'm gonna take off some of that paint that's on there if Follow me. Make this a bit easier. Now you don't have to try to do this. Matter of fact, you probably shouldn't. I should try to keep it clean when you're painting it. That's what you should do. Although I do like the effect of having two different planes here, like going N and N. That's something I should have done in the carving video. That looks really nice. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Let's go this way here. There, yeah, mostly cleaned off. And there we go. Okay. Now you can leave this bare wood, but I plan on antiquing this thing. And when I do that, the, uh, the the burnt umber in there and the antique solution will really darken that. So I don't want to leave that unpainted for me. But you can absolutely leave it unpainted if you're not going to be doing that antiquing solution that I have and that I use. Don't do it. I would definitely leave that plain if I wasn't antiquing because I think it looks fantastic on its own. So if you want my advice there, that's my advice. But since I am planning on antiquing, you know what? Yeah, let's do it like that. I thought about uh, when I wanted to water it down in the pan and just use less. But I don't. I want to do it about this thickness. A little of a hanging shad there. 
dating myself that reference, but okay. Oh, it looks fantastic. I really like this one. And I'm going to do the whole set. I'm going to do her husband, do baby Jesus. We'll have a set. And I'm doing this a little bit early. I know because like it's not even Halloween yet. And I get that. But the goal here is if I get the video out for this a little bit earlier, and people have the option and the time to get this done. Because not everybody cars the same pace. And you may see this. And if you see this two weeks before Christmas. And that's not the right time to put this up. You wouldn't get time to get done. I get that. I don't want to do that to folks. So I've been thinking about for a while. Like when's the right time to post a video. On this. And I think that it's right. The same week of Halloween. Because that gives people two months then. To try to do a nativity set. And it gives me time. To release the videos in succession. Because it's too much work to do all the videos for a nativity set. All in one day. And release them all in one day. I can't do that. But if I do this one today. Another one Wednesday. And some more next week. I can get the whole thing out. And you'll still have about two months to paint up, carve, complete your own set. That looks so great. Your own nativity set. Yeah. Okay. So let's dry her up real fast. Okay, and she is dry to the touch. Now, I think that... Now, I really think I like this succulent color. So I think we're going to go with that rather than the yellow. And I tell you, she's looking good enough that I'm like, man, I want to paint the other one. But I, I really don't. I want to have one set that is just the uh, Danish oil. I think that's going to look really nice. And some folks will really appreciate that and want to see that and want to do that. And so I want to give people the option. Because not everybody likes to paint. I get that. And some carvings look better unpainted. Some look better painted. But I want to kind of do all of these this series of videos that I do. For like tutorials, I want to have options for painting and not painting. I want people to see that every carving you do, you don't have to paint or you don't have to do with uh, dash oil or something like that. Some of them lend themselves to one thing easier than another. And there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, the more you get into this, the more you think, man, maybe a painted carving is the way to go. If you weren't of that mindset before, or you may start thinking, man, maybe a stained carving could be good. I never thought I liked stained carvings, but that Danish oil does look good. Yeah. Oh, that looks so great. I love it. See how that little mistake there with the V tool kind of like to look at. I kind of like that look too. I don't like these looking perfect. Well, like little figures like this. If I'm doing a caricature, you know, I want it to look perfect. If I'm doing like that Santa, I did with Wayne Laramore, I want that perfect. But these little things like this, that are like little folk art kind of things that are going to be displayed, I don't want those looking perfect. I want them looking handmade. I want them looking like someone took some, some time and care and just really invested some work into it. I think that it looks so much better it could just be me but I really think it's looking great oh so great I like the way this I'm, I'm glad I picked the succulent color too this band I'm really glad I picked that color look at that huh what do you think of them apples? I think that's great. Yeah. Now 
Uh, should I paint that section of the, of the, the arm as well? I might. I just might. But you don't have to. Like, you see me doing this? You don't have to paint this part. You don't have to paint any part. You can do different colors on this, too. You can watch the painting video I do just to get an idea. And then you could have painted this thing <clears throat> yellow and red. Your dress. You could paint it white with a light blue at the bottom. That would look good, too. Or white with yellow trim. That would look really neat. Kind of angelic, almost, you know? Yeah. You don't have to do the colors I'm doing. If you do, though, that's fantastic. Either way, I want to see pictures of the ones you guys get done. Please head over to Instagram. Give me a follow over there. That way you can see the stuff that I post and uh, stay up to date on things. And you can see the carvings I post. And you can show me the carvings you post. I want to see them. carve something, tag me, and I'll share it to my story. That way other people can see it, too. Kind of grow the wood carving community a bit, too, because if uh, we want to follow each other's stuff and see each other's stuff and like each other's stuff, encourage one another, because that's how we grow, right? It's easier to grow when you have a community of people that are backing you up, that are encouraging you and cheering you on. And so if you go over there and I share your work to my story, or I share somebody else's work, Make sure you follow them too, right? Follow each other. Because we need to be we need to be encouraging one another in this hobby. It's it's a bit of a dying hobby when it comes to like folk art, wood carving in America. And I hate that. Gosh, I hate that. It's a great hobby. It's so fun. And you can make so many amazing fun things. I just uh I want to do my part to make sure it stays as vibrant as it possibly can. I want to get as many people into wood carving as I can. It's such a great hobby. Oh, yeah. I'm really glad I painted those. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. That is very nice. So, I'm going to dry that up. And then I'm going to go drop it in the uh, antiquing solution. All right. There she is. Dried and antiqued. So... She is all finished up. Now, I'll go ahead and do that one with the Danish oil and wax, and then time for the money shot. It turned out fantastic. So that is step one on our nativity project. And uh, don't forget to check back because I'm going to be releasing other videos for Joseph and the three kings and baby Jesus, and we'll get them all done up. Maybe we'll do some animals too, and we can get a whole set of these all ready for Christmas. And that's it for the painting video, folks. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really am glad that you do that. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by again. And please head over to Instagram. Give me a follow there so we can stay in touch. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, enjoy. So long.